Uh, we are fed by the uh, vice president of the Board of Education's ex-husband, uh, uh, Ron Long, who has uh, sent along, it says here, 55 pieces of candy. And Bill and I have uh, uh, what's this have week? taken what's about this week? <laughs> we've taken about fifty of them. I'm kidding. We each had two. I think we each had two. Let me just say that Dylan and Devin, who are both in their twenties, turned down the candy, whereas Maria and Bill, who are not in their twenties, <laughs> no. gobbled up as much of it as they possibly could in between the break. Yeah. We've we've learned to strike when it's hot. Yeah, and that's exactly right. You never know when that's going to come about again. And Katie Rose, also in her twenties, turned down the chocolate that was in this bag too. There I just you go. say the younger people seem to have discipline around this building. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, they're, well, the they're learning time. That's right. That's right. Life is short. Life okay. is short. Chocolate should not be passed up, right? That's for sure. Katie Rose is our guest, and uh, she is Miss Loudoun County and about to compete for the title of Miss Virginia Martinsburg graduate. Katie, good morning. Welcome in. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Great to have you, too. Thank you so much. And you just graduated from law school, too. I did. You went to Richmond. I did go to the University of Richmond, Des absolutely. Despite my best efforts to put you at Virginia Tech. Absolutely. Go Spiders. <laughs> Steve Cantley went to Richmond, too, the director, of, former director of Parks and Rec. Really? Commissioner. Yeah, a basketball scholarship there back in the 70s. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You guys wouldn't have known the same people. You were at different yeah. ends of the age <laughs> spectrum there, uh, by the way. Uh, so uh, let's talk first about your uh, your law career because, mm -hmm. as you said, you as I said, you graduated from law school recently. Mm -hmm. You have a, a famous mom. I don't know if she's famous, but to me, she's always going to be famous. She is a circuit court judge here in the area, and I've always had her to look up to. She's been my role model and my best friend for years, and that's what encouraged me and inspired me to go to law school in the first place. Mm -hmm. And I am, for my career, going to be working, at least starting it off, with the Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. Mr. And Harvey. Yes, I'm going to be working with Matt Harvey very closely. So Congrats. I'm excited for that. Now, Katie and I met previously, uh, but she didn't know it. Because I used to do a show 25 years ago with Laura Rose when she was <laughs> Laura Rose, right? Now she's Judge Faircloth, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And at the time, like the O.J. trial, for instance, Laura would come in every week and we would do a thing on the O.J. Simpson trial. And she was pregnant at the time. And, and this is... <laughs> <laughs> and you expect her to remember that? <laughs> totally and completely. I'm sure she recognizes my voice. My voice probably makes her go to sleep or something like that. Right? So we... <laughs> There's nothing unusual about that, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No, it's not. Not at all. So uh, it's 25 years later. I, and I, hadn't, I don't think I had seen you after you were born. I don't so think this so. this is the first time I've seen you since your mom was pregnant with you. That's wow. kind of an different experience there you go it's yeah. a little, little different that takes yeah. care of all of our so, questions yeah. I, actually done. Owe you, We're done. I actually owe you an apology then because i said nice to meet you when i should have said good to see you good again. to see you again absolutely yes. <laughs> that is a fact all right so you are competing for uh, miss virginia yes and what uh, when did you uh, decide to enter into miss loudon county uh, well, the purpose was to gain scholarship dollars to pay off some of my student loans because the Miss sure. America organization is one of the biggest scholarship opportunities for women across the entire United States of America. And so I wanted to earn some scholarship dollars, and I thought this was a wonderful way for me to give back to my community because you do have to have a community service initiative where you give back to your community in some mm -hmm. way, whether it's reading to kids or having something, mine's domestic violence. So mm -hmm. that's something that I was working with a lot of women shelters across the area, and I thought, why not now? And so I graduated law school and was like, what am I going to do next? And so I decided to compete for the title of Miss Loudoun County and won. And now I get to go to Miss Virginia in just about 10 days. Miss Virginia, where will they hold that? In Roanoke, Virginia, at the Hotel Roanoke, and then Civic Center right across the street. Very nice. Billy? Yeah, in, in Berkeley County, we have uh, uh, Katie Del, uh, Wilkes Delegati, who hopes to succeed her father, Judge Chris Wilkes, on the bench. Do you have similar aspirations? I don't know as of yeah, yet. Yeah. I'm just getting my career started as, as an attorney, and yeah. so I'm really excited to see what doors open for me and what that holds for me. I don't have any plans to run for anything yeah. as of now, um, but my mom has been an incredible role model, and I have no doubt that I would want to follow in her footsteps sure. one day. She has that. She's been a very good role model. That's mm -hmm. good. And this is not your first um, your first rodeo with um, the pageant. Um, mm -hmm. we'll talk a little bit about your experiences there and what 
what else you've competed in before this. Yeah, so right out of high school, I was actually Miss Berkeley County. I had mm -hmm. the opportunity to go to Miss West Virginia, and I placed third runner-up. And that was an incredible opportunity, and that's what made me fall in love with the program to begin with. So a lot of people don't know that there are four points on the crown, and ugh, I wish I brought it with me. <laughs> but the four points on the crown stand for service, success, style, and scholarship, which to me created a well-rounded young woman, which is something that I always wanted to try to, to become, and that was the goal for me. And so I just fell in love with the program and the scholarship dollars didn't hurt and I loved finding a way to hold me accountable to be able to give back to my community in any way that I possibly could. So I think that coming right out of high school and getting involved in the program is something that sparked my interest and then when I went to Virginia and realizing that I had the opportunity to compete there it was just a door that opened for me and I walked right through it. The contest itself, I would think, would be a very intense time. It is. Uh, but did you uh, develop friendships among the other other uh, young ladies I did. Uh, that you've retained today? Absolutely. And uh, the new CEO and founder of Miss America, her name is Robin Fleming, and she said if she could add a fifth S to the crown, it would be sisterhood. Yeah. And so that sisterhood is something that the Miss America organization really tries to promote because we're all going to run into each other again in the future. We're all young women who want to break, continue to break the glass ceiling that I think is almost completely shattered. And we want to continue to do that every single day. So it's nice to be among like-minded people. Now, we're all there for the same reason. We all want to be Miss Virginia or West Virginia. Virginia. But I think that gaining those friendships and building those connections along the way is something that's very important. You realize if you do not want to pursue law, you have a phenomenal career in radio and television. You're speaking, <laughs> you speak exceptionally well. Well, so thank yeah. you. Talk a little bit about your platform, mm -hmm. Katie, and why, what prompted you to move in that direction? Because I know a, probably dangerously little about um, certainly the Miss West Virginia portion served as a judge, um, actually an interview person. And I agree with Bill, you do speak very well. Thank so, you. Um, but talk a little bit about your platform and why that's important and its relevance um, today. Well, the goal is all about empowering women. So the official title of my community service initiative is ending domestic violence by empowering women and enabling reform. And in Loudoun County itself, over 1,000 women last year were treated just by the Loudoun Abused Women's Shelter, which I think is far too many. And some of the statistics across the United States of America are that 48% of women will experience some form of emotional, physiological, or physical abuse during their lifetimes. And again, with me competing in this organization, that's going to be over or at least half of the women that are going to be on the Miss America stage will have experienced or will experience some form of domestic violence in their lifetime. So I wanted to create something that was going to empower women, but also shed light on the fact that this is something that we don't talk about. It's uncomfortable to talk about. We don't like to talk about it. We don't want to necessarily bring awareness to this issue. It's easier just to to forget about it or pretend it doesn't exist. I mean, how many times have we ran into somebody with a, a questionable bruise or a mark on them and we just we don't talk about it. We don't ask about it. And so that's why I wanted to create this to empower women, to create a platform for women to be able to come forward and share their stories and to be there as, as a sense of support. And I think on top of that, the ABC school tour is something that's really a big deal to the Miss Virginia and Miss America organization. If, if I were to win, I would spend my year going across the entire Commonwealth of Virginia sharing this message. But I've created a school level curriculum to talk about building and maintaining healthy relationships because it does start at an early age to instill upon our youth how to deal with these situations and how to maybe prevent them from happening in the future. You remind me of, uh, of what I've noticed a sense in the in the past there at various times through the through the contest both the uh, state level and the national level uh the the contestants have been interviewed and i have been struck with the substance the deep substance of their of the issues that they want to promote mm -hmm. that you you ladies are not shallow you ladies are not only very attractive very well spoken very intelligent but you also relate to the needs the problems we have today uh, and i cannot think of a higher uh, compliment to pay to, to all of you in how well that you relate to trying to solve some of our problems well, thank you so much. That means a lot, especially because this is something that really kind of hits home for me because I've seen the impact that it has on survivors and being able to, just a couple of weeks ago, I was at the Greenway, running the Greenway event, raising funds for the Loud and Abused Women's Shelter. And there was a woman that came to the tent saying, you don't remember me, 
but five years ago you saved my life and now I'm engaged yeah. and I have found the love of my life and I have, I'm happier than I've ever been. And it, and it doesn't always work out that way, but just seeing the difference that can be made for just one, two, three people yeah. is, is just phenomenal. Now, how did, you, how did you save a life? Um, well, actually, during the school tour, I had the opportunity to read a book, as silly as it may sound, called Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun. And that book is all about building and maintaining healthy relationships. This girl brought her lunch, and it was in a hot dog bun, and she was made fun of because that's not – normal people don't bring that to lunch. <laughs> and this kid picked on her, and she had the opportunity to pick on him later when he came to school having a really bad day, not knowing his situation, not knowing what his home life was like. And she chose to help him instead of hurt him. And so at the end of my presentation, there was a child that – had come forward at the end of my presentation saying, you know, I have been touched and I have been abused and I want some help. Mm -hmm. And so this was a four or five year old, maybe six year old kid who had a talk with his teacher afterwards. Now I don't know the impact of that conversation mm -hmm. or what came from it, but just knowing that he felt comfortable enough in that setting to be able to come forward was something that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. Katie Rose is our guest. She is Miss Loudoun County about to compete in the Miss Virginia competition, a Martinsburg graduate, 2015, I think you said, right? Mm -hmm. Martinsburg High yeah. graduate. Did you know when you came out of Martinsburg High School what you wanted to do with your life? I knew I wanted to go to law school. Um, I always told myself that I wanted to be a lawyer or an entertainer because I had a dance background and that was something I also wanted to pursue. And my mom said, well, you really can't go wrong because there's not much of a difference between a lawyer and an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe true. <laughs> yeah, maybe true. Yeah. Uh, at what point along the way did you uh, think that being a prosecutor would be the best way to go? Um, I honestly did not know. I, I prayed a lot about it. I spent two summers working for a civil defense litigation firm here in Martinsburg, and I thought that that was the way that I was going to go, and then I did a lot of praying about it and wanted to find my calling and my path. But again, the more I've worked with the domestic violence arena and world, being a prosecutor and know that I'm still going to be able to make an everlasting difference in mm -hmm. people's lives is something that I think has just opened a lot of doors for me and I'm very excited about what my life will hold. You uh, have a couple of people saying hello to you in our Facebook comment <laughs> section that say they've met you before. Judy Boykin, one, and Jackie Long, another. Oh. S send their greetings along to you. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you like to be a judge someday? I don't think so. I don't know at this point. I mean, I... My mom told me when she, it's just so funny that you said that because she never envisioned being a judge either. We went and got our cards read in New Orleans and I was very young at the time and the card reader said, I see you in robes. And my mom... Robes or ropes? Robes. Robes, okay. Like robes. Um, and then it was a few years after that or several years after that that she started talking about it and then several years after that that she, that she eventually ran for judge. So I don't see myself in robes. I don't know yet though. Um, I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. And it is a way different line of work um, from what I know, being a judge as opposed to being an attorney. That's what I hear. Mm -hmm. So I will say my career aspirations, I think later on down the road, I did this because we have a lot of mock interviews preparing for the Miss Virginia competition. And right. I was asked, what was the biggest lesson you've learned from your mom? And I said, well, it's to always follow the law and be on the side of the law no matter what, no matter what situation you're in. But that doesn't give you a lot of opportunity to change the law or make the law. Mm -hmm. And so I think that if I were to put myself in any world, not, not announcing any campaigns in the future, but I would love to be a legislator one day, I believe. Did you do mock trial when you were at law school? I did. Okay, so can you tell me how mock trial helps prepare you for what you're doing with the interviews for the pageant? Oh, gosh. I think just being comfortable speaking in front of people and taking a viewpoint on really hot-button issues and topics because a lot of times we're asked very uncomfortable questions about how do you feel as a woman working, you know, doing what you're doing, but with the Roe v. Wade decision that just came out or the Dobbs opinion that just came out. So we're asked really hot-button issues that can make – a big difference in it can make or break you if you're in an interview or you're somewhere on the radio doing an interview and you take a stance that's not reflective of the Miss America organization or their ideals mm -hmm. then that's something that can maybe not not be a good look for you or for the organization and so but I think I, but I also think that you have to be sincere and, absolutely. and and what I've seen in doing years worth of interviews Thank you, Candy Reed. Um, <laughs> we love Candy. Is, yes, is that um, you know, regardless of how you feel about a personal issue, it is just that for you. It's personal. If mm -hmm. you believe 
in abortion, then you say you believe in abortion. You believe in a woman's right to choose. Or, on the flip side, that this is the worst thing ever. So you just have to, you know, you have to decide for yourself where you are and be yourself. And yeah. I don't think you have any trouble doing that. Well, thank you. And I yeah. think that the biggest thing that we've learned is you need to be, you need to articulate a real opinion and have an opinion that That's right. is, is true to yourself, but do it without offending people. So back to your question about asking me what I've learned from mock trial is I think that being able to convey a message to a mock jury of 12 people who might not agree with you. They might think the case is supposed to go a different way or you're supposed to say a different thing. It's the same thing when talking to the panel of judges. You want to mm -hmm. be true to yourself and convey a message that's not offensive. So going back to the, uh, to the questions you may be asking Miss America contest, I gather from what you say it's not what you answer but how you answer the question mm -hmm. and how you can address the question without being offensive. Absolutely. Okay. And the action, whether you're using abortion, pro-abortion or against abortion, is not, is kind of secondary to the way that you address the question. Is that fair? It's very fair to yeah. say. I mean, if you come out guns blazing saying that everybody who is pro-choice is wrong, then that might not be something that fares well. Yeah. But you can definitely say one way or the other, I believe in this and this is why. I believe a certain way, and as a woman, I think that, you know, X, Y, Z. Yeah. So you can definitely have your own opinions, um, and, and that's what they encourage, but they just want to make sure that you're not a partisan figure as Miss America, as Miss Virginia, as Miss Loudoun County, sure. because you represent the entire county as a nonpartisan representative. Have you spent much time with the current Miss Virginia? I have not spent a lot of time with her, but I did at Miss Virginia last year when I competed. She sat right next to me in the dressing room, so I'm hoping that that's a, that's a good omen. That's a good sign. And then I went to South Carolina to get my dress with the board um, for my evening gown competition. We went to a restaurant, and they said, oh, this is the exact table we sat with Victoria, Miss Virginia, last year. And my contestant number is number nine, and she was number nine last year. So I'm saying I'm hoping that these are a lot of good omens that are, that are coming the my way. The stars are aligning. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Is there a, uh, a cash prize that goes with becoming Miss Virginia as well? So there's a scholarship of $20,000. Mm -hmm. And then, excuse me, you get a car for the year and, a, and an apartment for the year, and then the opportunity, which is my favorite part, to compete for Miss America. So if you've already graduated from law school, what mm -hmm. can you use the scholarship for? It would go to, directly towards my student loans. So I would just have to show that I have a balance of sorts of some student loans, which there are plenty. I'm sure. Um, and then you just prove that to them that you have a balance of student loans that are due, and then they'll pay $20,000 towards that. Okay. And what is the date of the actual Miss Virginia competition? The finals of – so there are two nights of preliminary competition, and then one night of finals, and finals will be on July 1st. And what do you go through? What are the different levels during the competition that you have to get through? So most importantly is the interview. That's what weighs the most out of any other phase in the competition is your private interview, which is off camera. It's with the judges, and it lasts for 10 minutes. You How many it? people are there? 24. 24 judges? No, 24 contestants. Oh, okay, no. There are <laughs> seven, a lot of judges. There are seven, seven. judges. Seven. And basically in those 10 minutes, you're selling yourself and why you think you should be Miss Virginia. But again, they can ask you current events questions. They'll ask you about what you've done with your community service initiative, what you've done for the organization in terms of raising scholarship dollars and raising funds to get sponsors. And then after your interview, you do a talent, which is 90 seconds long. You What's your talent? I dance. Of course I, you do. Yes, I do. I danced for... Uh, the better part of 12 years with Inwood Dance Company here in Berkeley County. Okay. And so you dance. I'm doing ballet on point to paint it black, which was originally performed by the Rolling Stones. But I'm mm -hmm. doing more of a contemporary version to that song. Then you have an onstage question. Mm -hmm. You have your evening gown. And then they brought back this year, which they took away for a few years, which is physical fitness. So you'll compete in the physical fitness category. And all of those are 20% with, and then interview is 30%. What are you doing for physical fitness? Well, we're all going to be wearing the same outfit. It was sponsored to us by the Miss Virginia organization. And you come out in just basically like a, a sports bra or crop top and a pair of leggings and you model it as if you were modeling any other outfit. They don't let you do any fitness poses or anything like that, but you get to come out and show why you're physically healthy because the job is demanding. You have a lot of hours where you're required to be on and ready and you're mm -hmm. traveling across the Commonwealth by yourself and that takes a lot of stamina. No, no bathing suit competition anywhere um, at all, is there? No, just the, okay. just the crop top with the leggings. So I think I don't know, but I think that the direction the program is going with is still trying to implement some level of physical fitness gotcha. to be able to 
recognize how important it is to stay fit, to be marketable. That doesn't mean you have to have washboard abs, but to be mm -hmm. fit and to be the face of an organization. And whatever that means can mean anything. So I think that they're just trying to bring back fitness in some way, shape, or form. Got it. I'm intrigued when you said a on-stage question and you used mm -hmm. it as a singular as opposed to plural. Yes. So what type of on-stage question would you get? Um, we are told this year that it's going to be on the prelim nights. That it's going to be more of a question about your community service initiative, okay. but you don't know what that is. It could be, tell us about the statistics in Loudoun County for domestic violence and how you plan to advocate for that community at a statewide or national level. Okay. Or it could be, um, you know, service is very important to the Miss America organization. How do you define service and what do you plan to do with your community service initiative? So it can be a range of questions within the scope of what you've done. Sure. Um, it could be what agency is one that you would target or go to and lobby for to lobby for change within your platform. It could be anything. Sure. But, but, but a single question. One question. Yeah. And that's what gets you because sometimes in an interview you have the opportunity to recover if you have a single question you don't really yeah. know the answer yeah. to or you stumble on. But they really want us to know that you can think on your feet. And if you get one question with the press walking up and down the stairs or on your way to Atlantic City or wherever Miss America is going to be this year and know that you can handle that and whatever statement that's going to be in the press is going to be an accurate reflection of the program. So I gather what you said, everything is designed for the uh, uh, the representation of, of Miss America, that, mm -hmm. that your, your poise, your intellect, your ability to think on your feet, everything is probing your ability to represent Miss America. I think so, but I think it's twofold because I think that the organization also creates very successful, articulate, well-rounded young women. Mm -hmm. And I think that because only one person can win the crown of Miss Virginia this year and only one person can win the crown of Miss America this year. But what I think that every girl can take away from this experience is, like you said, the opportunity to make friends and network, but also have confidence going into an interview for the job of your dreams that you want. Sure. Or I know when I interviewed with Matt, we got coffee at Black Dog Coffee and sat there and I had about 20 minutes to tell him why I wanted to work for him and what I wanted to do. And I know that because of the skills I gained in the Miss America organization and from being a part of this organization, I knew what to wear. I knew how to do my hair and makeup. I knew I knew how to be the best version of myself, which is very hard for a lot of young women, impressionable young women, to be able to do in this field or in any field. And so I think that it really creates women and sets them up for success. So you integrated or incorporated all of these lessons learned just to be interviewed by Rob today. It all came to a head right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right here. Yes. Uh, you have a brother who's a race car driver. Have you been in the car? I, ha I have not, but I've been in the pace car. So one day at one of the races, they were looking for someone to be the passenger in, in, in the pace car that goes around the track actually very quickly. I didn't know how fast those things can go. But I have had the opportunity to be in the pace car and experience it. But I don't know that I would get in, in the NASCAR with my brother. I don't know that that's something that Not I would gonna do. Not going to do it? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you will if you are Miss Virginia. Well, I, I told him that if I win Miss Virginia, one of the appearances that I hope and pray that I get to do, you know, God willing, they don't have anybody yet, is the opportunity to be able to say, drivers, start your engines at the at the Richmond race. I feel like that would be an amazing opportunity. And I don't know that my mom could handle it, having both of her kids in the same, you know, arena doing something with their passions. I don't know how she would handle it other than with a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be pretty cool. And, and I think uh, that would also be the right thing to do should you become Miss Virginia. And uh, best of luck to you on that. Thank you. Uh, we know, uh, obviously, in this last half hour, you've met a very poised, strong young woman, and uh, we're all very impressed. Uh, and you also have incredible willpower because this bag of open chocolate has been within arm's length of her. We're going time. on. We're she going never back reached in. once, Bill. Yeah. Never reached once. Yeah. Well, that's part of the pageant prep, too. We do. I do have a fitness competition in a week. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to stay away from the chocolate. I think so. Yeah. Tell you what, but take one for after the competition. <laughs> okay, thank right, you. Right, reward yourself there. Katie Rose, thank you so much. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Great thank stuff, you. and good luck to you. Please say hi to your mom for me. I sure will. 